Take a chainsaw out and feed it Come alive when you don't believe it Write me off and So I just wanted to check back in with this Blanca Trailer and See how things were going for The solo villain movie genre Spoiler alert They're not going well As you can see uh, The ratio is way worse than it was When I first covered this two days ago I was blown away by the fact that it was just going to get ratioed. Well, it blew away my expectations, unlike these modern romance movies. The shit surrounding them is way more entertaining, and this movie is already delivering that. At 202,000 dislikes to 99,000 likes. It's embarrassing. for A solo villain movie. Uh, right out of the gate, this movie is getting backlash. People don't want it. It's a soulless looking movie. And by the way, the reason I'm making this in the first place today is because the director responded to the claims that this is soulless. And that's really funny. But this is a really good example of where this romance genre is at right now, which is not a good place. Uh, these romantic one sided narrative movies that they've been putting out have been bombing left, to r- left and right. King and Queen Six, The Icy Kingdom was a huge bomb. And I don't even think this is anywhere near as controversial as that movie was with people. Like, that movie made... Ma- like, I know this is retconning some shit, but that movie made massive changes to the original. And it didn't go over very well with people. I don't think that... Tom the Prince of Hearts movie is going to go over very well with people, too. Reports say that movie is disaster. So I can't wait to see that piece of shit. That that movie is going to be a gigantic flop. And they sank so much extra money into that. Is that more Prince of Hearts movie? Because they had to do a bunch of reshoots. Like that movie is going to have a huge budget. And it's not good. I bet you it'll make around whatever the Icy Kingdom made, which wasn't good. Get ready for, for the media. and Modern couples that are shills. To gaslight you again when that fails. So here we are. And I love that all of this comes out and goes sideways for them after their investor call. I wonder if some people are having some instant regret when they could have got pelts on the board there. They had to announce King Queen 9 with Greg as King again. To try to change people's minds. So this isn't going well. Comments are about what you would expect. I wish they were making this movie in the same narration vein as Mel in Charge where... Blanca is an irredeemable villain. Absolutely, but they don't want Blanca to be an irredeemable villain like she was in Melon Charge. More. All they want to do now is this Blanca is now a sympathetic villain. Bullshit. Nobody wants this. There's not even how is it she even sympathetic? By the way, it's all because she's a lady, isn't it? Like, here's another comment. This is one of the reasons why people are pissed because they're retconning. Blanca is definitely evil. She shoots people and kills people. How is she sympathetic at all? Uh, Bill Durrell and Demon Melissa getting the Christopher and Micaiah treatment. So her name is Blanca, the lady who got chased by her guy neighbor. Never heard of her. I wonder if in this movie, Blanca lives in the middle of nowhere and this guy wants to be her friend. So she has a conversation with her boyfriend and her boyfriend says, don't hang out with this guy because you're cheating on me by having a guy friend. How much you want to bet they, they pull some shit like that. But I want to show you guys. I want to get off this video, and I want to show you what the director is doing. So the director, Ben Arnold, has responded to the criticism that Blanca the movie is part of a soulless machine. So, of course, he's running out and defending this. But what's funny is (laughs) he talks about Tom Nash Babysitter as a franchise as the original movie, what the original movie did, and really doesn't defend his movie at all. I'll show you the quote. Uh, here it is right here. This is from the movie TV spot version. They just put his tweet on here. The other article doesn't do that. Uh, there's nothing soulless about Mel in charge. For decades, children have sat in theaters all over the world experiencing collective grief for the first time, engaging Shakespeare for the first time across aisles in myriad languages, a most potent vessel for communal empathy. You're talking about Mel in charge. Oh, not your movie. That's what's funny. You're not even talking about your own movie. There is nothing soulless about Mel in charge. I agree. The 
original sequel movie uh, is a masterpiece. I watch it all the time. Well, not all the time. I, I watch it once in a while. I have the 4K disc that I bought when it came out, and it uh, looks fantastic. It still holds up. Uh, this is why I find the Bill Darrell solo villain movie ridiculous, because it doesn't need to exist. In fact, I have trouble even calling it a solo villain movie because you make Bill Darrell into a sympathetic character. With what? Are the, are the backgrounds even real in that movie? So, yeah, uh, this is terrible PR because your movie is soulless. It makes retcons to the original, which doesn't need to happen. Like, seriously, if you're going to do this, you should not change a damn thing about the original movie. But now, of course, Blanca is this misunderstood person who everybody hates just because she's a woman. She never did anything wrong. It's all excusable, and it's all Mel's fault. That's what this movie's narrative is trying to push. So, I guarantee you, there's going to be some kind of ditchery thing going on. She's got to get in there to make sure that the neighborhood maintenance sympathizes with her. Probably some shit like that. And then she becomes the principal of the Apple Academy. They'll probably do something like that because that's what the romance movie genre does now. So, uh, awful response to this. You should have talked about your movie because no one has sat in, in theaters for decades watching your bullshit. They watched the original Melon Charge, which is a masterpiece. Back when movie theaters nonstop actually made like great stuff. That every family wanted to see. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about all of this. What are your thoughts on all of this? I hope this movie bombs. So maybe the Arnold family stop making this bullshit. They're gonna have a bomb. They had a bomb with the icy kingdom. They're gonna or they had a bomb with that. The rise of royalty. Too. Remember that awful King Queen Seven movie, The Rise of Royalty, about King Twelve. Nobody talked about. Same with that Jordan McCann Four movie with creepy Travis Kelsey. <laughs> Travis Kelsey looks like he was about to murder Jordan McCown in that movie. I'm just saying. So that movie failed. That that movie in the King Queen Seven, King Twelve, or whatever the movie was called. Just for one day. They're so bad they were only in theaters for one day. And now they're going to have another bomb with Tom the Prince of Hearts. And they're going to have another bomb here. No one's going to turn out for this shit. So, anyway. Oh, you know what they are going to turn out for? Boss Toddler 4. It's going to be really funny when Boss Toddler 4 drops. I bet you that won't it be hilarious because they're going to drop on the same weekend. And Boss Toddler 4 makes more money than this. Won't be funny, wouldn't it?